Tell us, what is your favorite story or memory from the major leagues? Well, like I said, it would have to be my first day showing up in Atlanta and, and just throwing on, being able to throw on that Atlanta Braves jersey uniform. You see everybody doing like this? Oh, it was amazing. And fans. I had I had <laughs> old high school, you know, friends that I hadn't seen in 15 years. They'd show up and, you know, come down to the dugout. And, you know, just everybody kind of excited for you because they know how big of a deal it is, not only to play in the major leagues, but you're, I was able to play in front of family and friends. friends. And, and a lot of tickets were purchased that year on my behalf for family and friends. That's awesome. Yes. So, it so was, uh, who's the hometown guy for the Braves that had the home run record for the Braves mm-hmm. that had the home run record? Yeah, Hank. Who? Oh, <laughs> I actually got his autograph. He was. Yeah. He, we were the pitchers came out early one day, and uh, he was just sitting in a dugout <laughs> by himself, and it was just one of those opportunities that you just could not pass up. We were walking. The pitchers come out early, usually every day, to go run, <laughs> throw. Guys want to do some extra work out in the outfield or whatever. And we happened to walk through the dugout, and he was sitting in there by himself with nobody around. And I'm like, I cannot pass this up. So I walked back up, grabbed a brand new, brand new Pearl baseball, and just like a kid in a candy store, like, Mr. Aaron, could you sign this baseball for me? And he was just the nicest man ever, and he signed it for me, and I still have it to this. So I have the two, two, uh, the former home run champion and – the current. So the cool thing is the reason why I asked you that wow. story. So he got a signature off the guy who held it. And who's the new guy who took the reins? Barry Bonds. And tell everyone a unique story of what you... You are making me go out and do all this. He absolutely... <laughs> Barry Bonds was my first major league strikeout. So... What? Yeah, he was my, my first major league strikeout with the Braves. And he was... The, I think he was the first or second hitter that I faced out of the bullpen in my de- debut with Atlanta. I just got called up from – I was in AAA in, in, in Richmond, made the flight all the way across the country from Richmond to San, Fran- or San Diego, San Francisco. And uh, the first game, didn't even have a chance to get acclimated. Bobby Cox gets me up in like the sixth inning, and it's like I hear it from all the fans because I don't know if you guys know, but in San, Fran- uh, San Francisco the – Fans are right there, like the, right. The, the pitchers are sitting up against the wall, and the fans are literally, literally right behind you. Oh wow! So it's like I can hear you can't not hear people screaming at you when you're warming up in the bullpen. They're all you know talking about. Oh, you know who you're facing. You know yeah. you got you got Barry Bonds. Yeah, you it's know. about to go down, sucker. Watch this. <laughs> you're about what to you lose. Want to tell them. Yeah. yeah, and I I'm not one of the type of people that that you know I don't really toot my own horn <laughs> or anything <laughs> very often, but it was the last time I struck him out on. Four pitches through three changeups. It was six years prior before he'd swung and missed three consecutive pitches and not foul anything off or touch it. That'd be better wow. to see than winning a ring right there, just to have that on my resume. That's right. Way and cool. I had no idea. That's what until after the game, and I walk into the locker room, and the media was there, and I just so like, you know, people. Oh, like they were me. all over you. Yeah, I was like, "What's going on?" You know, it's just a strikeout. And but they're it's like, like, oh, no, it's A not. lot of people like me think that that's cooler than a ring, just to let you know. That was. yeah. See, there's so many, like, just being around as long as, like, I could sit here and just, you guys don't want to listen to all this, but I could sit here and tell you stories all day long about certain things that happened and, right. and events and stuff like that. But, yeah, I realized that that wasn't – I thought it wasn't that big of a deal, but I walk in the locker room and they're like, do you realize, like – and I knew how good he was. Obviously, everybody knows, knows it's Barry Bonds. He's, he's one of the best players in the game at that time. And uh, – I was like, yeah, I realized, you know, the guy's phenomenal and this and that. And they're like, no, that's the last time he had swung and missed at three consecutive pitches in like six years. And I'm like, really? Thank you for watching that clip. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more clips like that, please click here. Or if you'd like to check out a full episode, click here. And don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube.